Hey, what's up guys? My name's Faison, you're watching Unfazed, and today we're going to be deep diving into Science Olympiad Ping Pong Parachute. Before we get into the video, I just had a couple of quick announcements that I wanted to get out of the way. First and foremost, I just wanted to apologize to you guys for the lack of videos over the past few weeks. Recently, I just finished all my finals and I had a bunch of tests before that, so I thought it was a little more important to maintain my grades and then then um, putting up videos. But now that I finished my finals for the semester, I should be able to get a whole lot more videos, so please be looking forward to that. In addition to uh, make, putting up more videos, I also created a community Discord. And my hopes for this Discord is to create a community of Science Olympiad people so we can all help each other out. I know I get a lot of questions in the comments, but I thought it might be a little bit better and maybe a little bit more fun to have a whole community of people who can help each other out for everything Science Olympiad. And finally, um, I, I made a new feedback form, a feedback Google form that's in the description. So I know a lot of you guys suggest video ideas down in the comments, which I really appreciate. But I thought that the best way for me to make my videos more entertaining and more insightful is to get feedback from you guys. So if you aren't comfortable leaving a comment, or you have a little bit more to say, then I would really appreciate it if you would consider filling out the feedback form. Again, link is in the description. With that said, let's get right into the video.
As we're finishing up the parachute, I just wanted to mention one key concept that you might want to remember, and that is the shock value of a parachute. Now what a shock value is, is the amount of energy required pulling down on the parachute in order for that parachute to open up and resist descent. So knowing the shock value, or at least understanding its concept, is key for parachutes, specifically ping pong parachute, because you're restricted to only the weight of the ping pong ball to open up your parachute. And if your parachute's shock value is larger than the weight of your ping pong ball, then it won't be able to open up and you won't be able to get a good flight time. So when I when I talk about shock value, I'm not necessarily referring to you going out and calculating the shock value, but rather understanding that if you are using a large parachute, then you're going to need a significantly larger weight to open up that parachute in comparison to a small, a smaller parachute that n needs a lesser amount of weight to open up. And in just a moment, I'm going to show you an example using two different ping pong balls. First, we'll be using this pen ping pong ball, and that's roughly 2.5-ish grams. And in just a moment here, I'm, about to, I'm going to drop it, and you'll see it actually open up. So 2.5-ish grams is enough to open up this parachute. However, if I use a much lighter ping pong ball, and in just a moment I'll show it to you, but it's from Dollar Store, like our Dollar Tree, and it's only about like 1.2-ish grams. And surprisingly, it's not enough to open up, yeah, there is a ping pong ball, it's not enough to open up the parachute. And again, this goes back to shock value because the weight of the ping pong ball, or rather the amount of gravitational force acting upon that ping pong ball, is not enough for us to open up the parachute and allow it to resist descent enough. See, you see it open up there, it's hard to see, but you saw it open up, but it didn't actually open up fully and instead closed. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. But with that said, I'll catch you guys next time. Stay unfazed.